Good morning, you guys. So today I'm starting off my morning by making cupcakes for Daryl's job. He's got to leave for work in a little over an hour. So I just wanted to whip these up for his staff. They've been doing such an amazing job for him, especially being the new manager. They really all have just been pulling together. So I'm going to just whip up, whip up some chocolate fudge cupcakes with some vanilla funfetti frosting and send this in with Hubs as a special little treat. Your teeth. Unbuckle your seat. Yeah. yeah, we're parked now. Okay, guys, so we are here. It is Sunday night. I didn't vlog very much today because tonight is my normal grocery haul night. So you guys will see this on Tuesday when you guys normally see my grocery hauls. Uh, I'll probably take you inside of Walmart a little bit, which you normally don't get a chance to see. But I didn't want to add too much vlog footage to this day just because some people just watch my grocery hauls and not necessarily my vlogs. So I wanted to make sure that there wasn't too much of everything else in here and there was still... A bulk of my grocery haul and meal plan so let me unbuckle the kids we'll go inside Walmart we'll check some things out and then we'll go home How was class? Good. Yeah. Hello, viewers of the YouTube. Okay, guys, we are home from the store. That stinking trip with those kids was so exhausting that I actually came home, left my groceries in the car, put the kids to bed, and then went and took a nap for 45 minutes before I took my groceries out to the car, out of the car, and put them on the counter to show you. I couldn't even. That little footage you saw was all that I got in there because. Without an extra pair of hands, Mason is all over the place. He just does not stay with me. I can't, it's hard for me to maneuver two carts. So I literally was tapped out from my trip to Walmart. But I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I got some cute stuff. So let me turn the camera around and show you this week's grocery haul. Okay guys, so let me say this. I think that I may actually do grocery pickup for some things and not all, if that makes any sense. Because uh, I, I still want to be able to go into Walmart and do some grocery shopping. But when I went into Walmart, there was like a big sign over my milk that said, can't beat our everyday low price of $3.58. I paid $1.53 a gallon last week. And I went onto the grocery store app as if I was building a car and it is still $1.53. So why is $2.05 more expensive to go into the store and get it as opposed to someone bringing it out to my car is mind boggling. But I think if I have some time tomorrow, which is funny because I very rarely have downtime, I'm going to match my receipt and I'm going to go put all of these items in the cart and see what it stacks up against one another because that's a lot of money to save. I mean, that's 
four dollars and some change just between the milk alone so i mean that that pay, would pay my gas more than just to go there so i don't know we'll we'll see but i have to say that i could not believe that i spent a hundred dollars now it's not just here on the table i have some non-food stuff at the bottom i'll show you in a second but i feel like i got way more stuff last week or just as much for a fraction of the cost of what it cost me today. So today it cost me a little over $100, $100 exactly and some change. Um, so I'll show you what's here. Jake will absolutely not eat those Otis Bunkmeyer brownies from BJ's. So I got, <gasps> shush daddy. I got him the Santa brownies. They were, all these were on sale for $2. So I got the Santa brownies and more of the Christmas tree cakes. Everybody seemed to like them um these eggs were a dollar cheaper than normal but still not as cheap as they were on the website so we'll see about that but i got two of the large organic eggs we've been going through like at least a dozen and a half if not two dozen eggs a week it's crazy uh got our hershey's simply five syrup a bag of the organic russet potatoes um a thing of french bread this bread was so soft that it actually dented just from like slightly leaning up against something in the um in the car i can't even believe that this is discounted like i can't explain to you how squishy this is so i'm going to check my menu and see if i can use this for something this week but if not that i was such a score to i usually like the everything with seeds but i have the everything seed spread from trader joe's if i really wanted to but you could still do garlic bread with this or just regular something, anything. But this bread looks so good and it feels so soft. Uh, I have not bought this iced tea and I have to tell you, it's literally years. I used to live off this stuff and I never really see it at my Walmart. I never had a craving for it, but uh, I saw it on an end cap today and I was thirsty and it looked good. So I put a gallon of their great value uh, sweet tea in the cart. This is their organic chicken broth uh, for turkey soup tomorrow. Uh, a thing of their apple juice. This was on sale for $1.47. I thought that was a good price. Uh, the two gallons of milk, we talked about that already. Um, I got organic raspberries. They were three sixty eight. That's kind of high price, but berries are really not in season, so I kind of expected to pay a little bit more. Um, and then some strawberries. I need to go to Aldi's, it's been too long. Speaking of Aldi's, like I'm out of the apple sauces that I usually only get from Aldi's, but this is the first time I've ever seen Walmart have these organic pouches. Now they only have them in original, unsweetened, and cinnamon, at least for now. So I got, my kids like the regular, but I like to get them the flavors because they really enjoy these like daily. I feel like the regular could get boring. So I just got them one of the cinnamon and then I got one of the mashups. This is the carrot and mango applesauce um but this was 263 so that's a little bit more than what i pay at all these but this was a dollar 53 which if all these is not on sale i pay more there so that was good to know i could get that there uh one of jake's cheeseburger meals and then one of these banquet mega bowls so this is a big chicken fajita and jake loves nachos so I think I'm going to make him a deconstructed nachos um, one day. I've mentioned a bunch of time in my What's for Lunch videos that Jake has a microwave at school. So I was thinking about sending him with like a bag of shredded cheese, a bag of chips, and this in a bowl and letting him make his own nachos. So I thought that would be fun. Um, and I did grab some of this nacho cheese in case he wanted to take some of the liquid cheese. Uh, a thing of organic bananas. I needed some stuff for the laundry room, so I got a thing of lemon bleach and a thing of vinegar. I like, can't believe it, my laundry room looks bare. I have like one more dose of vinegar for one laundry, one load of bleach for like one laundry. I'm out of fireworks, like you can tell that, that's why there's no meat in this haul either because uh, I'm going to Trader Joe's and BJ's on Friday. So you guys will see that coming up this weekend, but like my laundry room is bare when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I usually only buy that there. So I picked those things up. These cute little pajama set was on clearance. Look, it was $3 for a two piece sleepwear set. So I just got Maya this little Minnie Mouse one. I thought that was cute. And then here are my fun finds. You ready? 
Okay, so look at, ooh, that's kind of close. Look at my pretty wreath. So my wreath that is on my front door right now is really old. My girlfriend gave it to me before I even moved here. So, and I've been here seven years. So I've had it for a really long time. And because it's super sunny in South Carolina, the big point set is that are um, in the four corners. Um, they have faded so much from the sun. Now the red bow that's on it is still in good shape. So I think I'm gonna transfer that from that one to this one, but I'm, I wouldn't even donate that other one. That's how bad of shape it is in. But I've been loving how everybody's been liking this flocked look with the snow and stuff. And I'm such a sucker for the hypericon and berries and the those kind of things. So, and it's got a few balls on it, some silver. And a couple of little red in there but I thought this was perfect I absolutely love this so this is gonna go on my front door I love that oh it's got some pine cones some glitter yeah I love that and then I did buy this sign I've been staring at this sign for weeks now but this one was kind of low. I really wanted a tall, skinny one because I don't have a very big patio. I have very small space beside each one of my doors. So I kind of wanted like something thinner and tall. Everything I could find by the time I decided I wanted that, I didn't like, um, or it was super religious and it wasn't really my thing. Um, and I kept seeing this and I kept them like hemming and whoring over whether or not I wanted to get this one because guys, they're not getting any more Christmas stuff in stock. Like if you want decorations, you need to go now and whatever's out is out. That's it. Like nothing else is coming in. So I finally decided like if I didn't get this, I got nothing for my front porch. So um, this just says the fresh cut Christmas trees and it's got the galvanized arrow that's like raised. This is pine, spruce, cedar, and fir. And on the back, it has like a hanging hook, but it also has, um, it also has, so you could, you know, prop it up. And, oh, that was me. Shush, no one's knocking. Um, but really, shout out to Shelly from Shelly's Home Life. She's really what pushed me over the edge to buy this because she went and bought it and set it up in her little porch area. And, ooh, looks so cute. And I was, when I went today, I was like, that's it. This is the last one left. There was no other outdoor signs. I really wanted something for my porch. So thank you, Shelly. You convinced me to buy that. Um, and then I got this tree. Actually, Vanessa, I saw you had this outside of your house. And I had already scoped this out. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it, but it looked cute outside your front door. And then I finally decided today that that would look good. Once I decided on this and I realized that was short, I need something tall now. And I decided to go with greenery instead. And this was still $13 and I love that. Uh, it's really very sparkly and pretty. It's got red bows on it already. I think that I'm gonna add just a few Christmas balls, like a few simple silver ones that like are on there to match that. So all these things hung at my doorway should look really coordinating together. And then I just got um, this Purina Dog Chow, the bonus bag, and it's the lamb and gravy. I don't know, I love lamb, so I always buy lamb for the dogs. Um, and that is it. So I actually have my meal plan right here so I can share this with you um, right now. So, this meal plan is my first meal plan of December. So this is my last month for my book. And then I must retire her and move on. Um, so this is for the week of Tuesday, December the 5th through Monday the 11th. So on Tuesday the 5th, we're going to barbecue steak because believe it or not, we're still having 60 and 70 degree days. So we're going to barbecue some steak. I'm going to do pasta salad and some broccoli. Um, on Wednesday, we're gonna do turkey meatloaf and I'm gonna do some uh, sauteed garlic green beans and some scalloped potatoes. Um, on Thursday, we're gonna do turkey hot open sandwiches. I actually forgot to buy the cold cut turkey. That was like one of the things that I forgot because the kids were, like I said, so stinking crazy. Like I didn't even get a chance to look at my list or anything, so. Um, yeah, I'll have to go and pick up cold cut turkey, but uh, and then I'm gonna do that with rice and carrots. 
Oh man, I didn't buy rice either. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to make a stop. All these, I'm gonna have to squeeze in an all these. Um, all right, and then Friday, I'm gonna defrost some meat sauce that I made a couple of weeks back. Uh, I have a cooking video on this, so I'll put a card up top. Um, oh, I have a cooking video for this meatloaf too, so make sure you guys check the description box. Um, and then we'll do that with salad and garlic bread. And then on Saturday, we're going to go celebrate Mason's birthday. So we're going to Carowinds, which is the big amusement park here, like a great adventure kind of deal. And we're going for Winterfest. They make it snow and all this stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'm going to do hot dogs and mac and cheese like right before we leave at four o'clock. This way, any snacks that they get there will kind of be like the end of their night and then we need to leave and quickly come home and get the kids to bed because Daryl and I are going live on my channel that night at 9 p.m. Um, to draw the giveaway winner. If you guys haven't seen that, my kickoff to Vlogmas was me giving away one of these planners. So if you guys are interested in that, um, check the description box. There's a link to Gleam for you to put in your entry, but we will be pulling the winner live Saturday at 9-ish. I don't know how late it's going to be, but we'll be, we'll be there. Um, so we're going to keep it simple. And then on Sunday is what Mason calls it, his dirt day. I got to use my last birthday sticker of the month. Um, I, he wants donuts for breakfast and that made me giggle because that's something Vanessa's kids would choose um, too. So I'm going to get up early in the morning and go to Dunkin' Donuts and get munchkins and donuts and come home and set a breakfast up because Daryl has to leave at 11 to go to work. Um, he's taking Saturday off to do all of this stuff. So he won't be home for um, Mason's birthday actually. So um, being that Mason's born at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's not a big deal. So we're gonna go, we'll sing happy birthday at his actual time. Um, and we'll do donuts and fresh fruit and that kind of stuff in the morning. And then we're gonna do roast beef with gravy and mashed potato and corn and biscuits for dinner. Just a real like family kind of Sunday dinner. And I'll have to add in tons more extra fresh fruit from the morning because when I asked him what he wanted for dinner, he said grapes, strawberries, blueberries, and apples. So fruit salad, I guess. Um, and then on Sunday, we're going to do a big um, like breakfast since this breakfast is donuts. <laughs> We're gonna do like a big breakfast like eggs and bacon um, and pancakes and everything for dinner because I've been doing that once a month and then freezing those extras for the rest of um, for the rest of the month. So that is it for my meal plan for this week. See so guys, so this is the wreath that I've had forever and these are not supposed to be pink. Although they do do now like some of the style has been to do some of these pink kind of poinsettias. They are supposed to be red like the bow or they were at least. So, but as you can see the bow is still in really good shape. So I want to take this bow off and put it on the new one. And I might even take some of these balls off and use them for the Christmas tree. Um, this way I can repurpose this as much as I can. Um, and I was even thinking about taking these off and maybe grabbing ones from the Dollar Tree and seeing if I could put ones back on and then I'll hang this wreath somewhere else. But I just wanted to show you guys why I ended up buying a new one because you can clearly see that this one has seen its better days. Actually, one o'clock in the morning, which means it's officially Vlogmas Day number six. So you need to stop while I'm ahead let you guys know that I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul and the meal plan. Don't forget to check out that giveaway if you want to enter to win one of those meal planning videos, all the recipes to anything that I have a recipe for or a cooking video for will be in the description box below along with the start of this month's budget. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, guys.